We welcome you inside the family of networks. Today we are in Barcelona, okay? And we are in Spain. Not only are we here to kind of scope out the land, we are here with Pablo and Leila. And it's been a while now since we've been in Spain with you. We had a wonderful time last time we were here new stations on the air, new programming, the Praise the Lord program in full swing, new studio, new equipment. How many broadcasts are you doing from the studio? Estamos, estamos eh, We're producing eh, 40 hours a month. Each wow. month, diferentes iglesias, with different churches, diferentes ministerios, different ministries, eh, diferentes personas, different people, <laughs> que tienen algo que contar de parte de Dios. That has something to say from God. One of the oldest Christian nations on earth, Christianity took root in Spain when the Apostle Paul himself visited Hispania, as it was called in the early days of the church, to teach the gospel after ministering to the Romans. Like so much of Europe, however, far too much of Spain has fallen away from its deep Christian heritage and first love. And once again, Spain desperately needs the hope of Jesus Christ. Thankfully, as Pablo and Leila say, TBN is again broadcasting hope and grace to millions across this great and historic land, thanks to the generosity and faithful giving of our TBN partners. Pablo and Leila, you guys are doing a great Amazing. job. We're so proud of what's happening here in Spain. And we're spying out the land in Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> Today, TBN España enjoys full coverage to the over six million people in the capital city of Madrid, five million more in Murcia and Valencia, and nearly two million in Elche, and another eight million people nationwide in cities like Barcelona, and even the most rural areas via the popular platform Movie Star and Canal Television. In all, that's over 20 million people who can watch TV in España on any given day. And watch they do. TV in España has suddenly become the central gathering place for pastors, teachers, and churches who proclaim the gospel. Faithful to Paul Crouch Sr.'s vision of satellite, two of the most watched satellites over Spain are beaming the truths of the Bible again to millions hungry for answers in an increasingly uncertain world. In addition to all of the prominent pastors and teachers you enjoy on your TBN, TBN España is programming in excess of 40 hours a week of indigenous Spanish language programming relevant to viewers of all ages. Leila, you have prayed, you have hoped, and turning the pages of these reports, the proof now of all the ministry, the moments of singing, the moments of prayer, the moments of evangelism that have happened. So what is on your heart today that you know that this is now happening after many long years? We're really, really happy because uh, we love this country. We love Spain, we love the Spanish people, and we know that God uh, have a big, big love for this country. Mm -hmm. And we're, uh, we're having a lot of hope. We have a lot of hope because there are uh, millions of souls waiting to hear the love of God. And now we're doing. And, and this, this is the proof. All of the ministry clips, all of the ministry uh, from Manuel Ramirez and Jesus, how do you say this one? Cerezo. Cerezo. Yes. <laughs> and say this one? Marcelo Rodriguez. Yeah. See, the, the idea that the ministry is happening in this studio now is a brand new day. This is the day that this building was built for, this beautiful studio. So now we need to show the partners around the world. Cody, I'm going to get up. Let's all get up. And this, of course, I think, uh, would be to our partners would be more like we were sitting on the behind the scenes set and uh, now what we've got is over here now you, we came and did one big praise the Lord program over here but now this is this is the studio now this is the one that is getting all of the guests and the pastors 
from around Spain and this is becoming the normal now. This is the one where we get to see that the ministry, I've been watching from the hotel room. What happened here uh, just a few years ago is TBN purchased a television network called Libertad. And so now we tune on to the television in our hotel and there is TBN right in the middle with all the other channels. And in our hotel room, it's channel 66. Uh, that is, we're watching. And last night, we were sitting in the hotel room. Late at night, we were watching the Praise the Lord program. There was a live band. There was a studio audience. And the, uh, the ministry is happening here. So these are really the days, I think, that you've dreamed of, Pablo. You're getting to live the days that you've dreamed of. What is some of the ministry uh, testimonies that you've heard and the, the results of the production that now is going on almost every night right here in this studio? Dios está sanando enfermos. God is healing a sick people. Dios está trayendo esperanza a la gente. God is bringing hope to people. Estamos recibiendo multitud de llamadas. Aquí tenemos algunas. We are receiving uh, hundreds of calls. You can see some of them here. De muchos lugares de España. Uh, from many places of Spain. Leila, there's a camera just this there with with Tim and the the TBN partners in America and around the world are watching there and just let speak to them for a moment about their participation because without the TBN partners uh, around the world that love and support the idea of Christian television, uh, this would not be possible. Just a, yes. a word to, to the people there around the uh, world. From the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of the Pablo's heart, and from the bottom of many, many people here in Spain that really wants the, the, the word of God be spread in all of Spain, uh, we would like to, to give you thanks, to say thank you, thank you, because you don't have idea how many souls are needing the word of God here in Spain. You don't have idea how, many, how hard is to, to bring the gospel here in Spain. So your, your offering is special. It doesn't matter if I'm a small or a bigger offering, it's special because uh, it's being useful being useful in the kingdom of God. Here are millions of millions of souls needing your offering. Thank you, thank you. We're very grateful. Great. Uh, I have a, a one uh, final question for Pablo. As I sit here, it's very difficult for me to not think about a day some 15 or 20 years ago uh, where my father, Paul Crouch Sr., who is now in heaven, and Jonas Gonzalez Sr., who is also in heaven, they started outside of this building one day when it was just a brand new constructed, you know, building, and they cut a ribbon. And, and I know that in my father's heart, some 15 years ago or, or longer ago, he made a very important speech and he said to the ministers, please love this studio. Love it. Amado. Care for it. Cuidado. Pray for it. Por Use it <coughs> to preach Jesus Christ. Para Jesus. And it's almost like what my father's heart and I remember him becoming very emotional when he said uh, to, to the ministers of this, of this part of the world, love this ministry, support this ministry. And when he cut the ribbon, today is the day that he had in his mind. So my question now to Pablo is this. For people, sometimes their vision, they want to do something for God, but it seems like it takes forever. That could be your testimony. You had a virtually empty studio for years. The vision now is being fulfilled that was dreamed of 15 years ago. I'm sure that most of our viewers that are watching now has something in their heart that they want to see God do. 
Maybe they're five years and they haven't seen their vision yet. Maybe 10, some 15 like you. So talk to the people that have a vision in their heart. Use your own experience. We get to look in a beautiful studio now. We see this beautiful sets. We see all of this new HD equipment. We see this beautiful playout facility. And this building is one of the most important buildings in all of the TBN network because of the playout facility that it takes the satellite signals and carries them. For those that are waiting on God, just minister to those people uh, that are watching that need an answer from God too. You've seen an answer, so now minister an answer, please, to the viewer. The Bible says that if the vision is from God and it, although it can take long, aunque la visión tarde siempre va a llegar. It's always going to get there. Y cuando vino eh, Dr. Crouch a España, and when Dr. Crouch came to Spain, eh, trajo una visión de Dios. He brought a vision from God. Tuvimos que esperar unos años. We had to wait for a few years. Pero le creímos a Dios. But we believed God. Y ahora con su hijo. And now with his son. Estamos viendo que viene la tormenta del cielo para España. You, you can see that the storm from heaven is coming to Spain. Si tú estás viviendo una situación igual, if you're living in the same situation, si fue Dios quien te habló, if, we, if it was God that really talked to you, espera la visión porque vendrá, wait for the vision because it's going to come, sucederá, it's going to happen, y grandes cosas vas a ver igual que nosotros, and greater things you're going to see just like we have. God bless you for what you're doing here, for staying around for those many years and not leaving and not being discouraged. Maybe you were discouraged, but you got through it. <laughs> Officially referred to as the Kingdom of Spain, Spain is an evocative and stunningly beautiful coastal European nation nestled along the Mediterranean Sea with island archipelagos in both the Mediterranean and Atlantic Oceans. With an area spanning some 195,000 square miles, Spain is by far the largest country in Southern Europe bordered to the north by France, to the west by Portugal, and to the south across the Straits by Morocco in northern Africa. During the Middle Ages, Spain came under Germanic control. However, much of the territory was later conquered by Moorish invaders. In a process that took centuries to resolve, the relatively small Christian kingdoms in the north gradually and quite miraculously regained control of the entire peninsula. The last Moorish kingdom was defeated the very same year Columbus reached the Americas. And a global empire began, which saw Spain become the strongest kingdom in Europe. Few today might realize it became the leading world power for over a century and a half, and the largest overseas empire for nearly three centuries. We believe this very strategic European nation is destined once again to fully embrace its Christian heritage and the faith and values that united and elevated it to a place of world influence, particularly during these days of growing social unrest, political upheaval, and the ever escalating threat of terrorism. That's why we need your help to reclaim this important beachhead for Christ in this fragile area of the world. Barcelona, Spain, Pastor Juan Mejias. Nice to see you. You're one of the newest Hillsong guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Barcelona, tell us what's going on with Jesus in the middle <laughs> of this place. Well, Jesus is actually taking over Barcelona. We've been running church for about three years now, it's going to be, and it's been awesome. You know, we started with only a few people meeting in a coffee shop, and then from there, it just exploded to over a thousand people every week, literally. So it's been great to see the growth in, in this city. It's such a creative city. You know, you can see everywhere there's like monuments and creativity. And so, you know, we couldn't wait to see just God in a relevant way in this city. So we're loving it. For those that are just tuning in and wondering what that is behind, <laughs> what, where are we? What we're, are we seeing? That's our church, man. No, I'm joking. This is uh, <laughs> Sagrada Familia. It's a massive church. It's a Catholic church. It's been built for over 100 years. We still got uh, about 20 years to finish it, but it's an amazing church. Inside it's beautiful, full of light, full of Mediterranean flavor. And so it's made by Gaudi. It's a very famous architect from here. 
And would you consider this kind of the center of town or is town center somewhere else besides uh, right here? There's a different centers from, the, from yeah. for the city. Obviously, this is one of the main places in the city. But then you have the Gothic districts, like the medieval area of the of the city. It's beautiful as well, you know, small streets, very European. So there's different places in the city. Okay. The Hillsong culture resides here. What what are you teaching? What is your message if you have a main yeah. message that's changing people in Barcelona? Yeah, I guess it it's life, you know, the word it's life. People live very worried with the future, with what's going to happen. The crisis was crazy in Spain and so still on people's mindset. And we just inspire people. There is future for them. There's hope in Jesus for them. And so people come looking. A lot of Spaniards are actually looking for something different. And when they come to church, we just present the message of the gospel, the life, you know, Jesus is life. And just people love it. They keep responding every week. We see new people coming and, you know, life, it's not only one area of your life. Life is the whole thing, your spiritual side, or it's your physical side, your mind, your heart. So yeah, we present life to people. Here in Barcelona, the makeup of your church from an yeah. age demographic is yeah. what? what? What are you seeing coming to the Hillsong Barcelona Church? Well, obviously, me and my wife, we're very young, so we see a lot of young people, you know, in their 20s, 30s. Uh, but we were surprised by the amount of older generations in church. We have probably about 25-30% will be over 50 or 60s. So a lot of families with grandparents, parents, kids, teenagers, over 100 kids every week. And so, you know, that was a surprise for us, but I guess that's God's plan, you know, I love it. Okay, your message to me earlier when we were discussing is that Hillsong Barcelona needs a building. Yeah. You're kind of nomads we're at nomads. this point. Yeah, and we so are. <laughs> you told me that sometimes on a Thursday only, yeah. you know where you're doing church yeah. on, a, on a Sunday. How do we get that fixed? Are you actually needing to find a place here? Yeah, so we are actually believing for our own venue, a place that we can do midweek activities because on Sunday we rent venues or theaters, but then we have midweek live. You know, we have DNA night, sisterhood, youth, and that means renting different venues, different places. So we're never in one place, which is a bit of a challenge in a sense, because when you invite someone to church, you can't tell them, hey, come to, yeah. I don't know, come to, I don't know, just, and so, yeah, we're believing for our own place. At the same time, we love being in the center of the city, so we don't want to, you know, to have our own venue. We don't want to pay the price of going too far from the center because we are a, a city church, you know, we, we're here for the people in Barcelona. You know, for, for us here, this is a country where church has been pushed away from society, you know. Uh, we have our history of not doing always things well done as a church, you know, in the country for centuries. And so uh, people no longer trust the church. It's just in the corner. And when we're talking about, hey, we're going to your through your TV screens, it's like, what? You know, we're coming back to the center of society, just inspiring people, reaching people. So people just celebrate it like crazy. The Trinity Broadcasting family yeah. of networks and Spain have a long history. TVN is broadcasters here. We have a, a very, very, very long existing television playout facility, studio facility in Madrid. No and so I'd love to invite you at some point to, to hook up with our folks in Madrid. I would love that. Uh, to do some broadcasting and do some television and, and help reach your city. Let's just for a moment think about those people that are watching. Certainly we wanted to know what was happening in Barcelona. Trinity Broadcasting has an opportunity here to acquire a full power TV station and we're looking into that and the idea that we could make Jesus much more famous together here in this city of Barcelona. But for those people watching, maybe we're introducing you, mm -hmm. a young pastor, Pastor Juan, to, to a whole group of people that are watching yeah. around the world. But around the world, the needs that are represented every Sunday at your yeah. church, the needs, they're, they're the same all over the world. Yeah. Just for a moment, whatever's on your heart to share to the folks they're watching just behind awesome. that camera. Well, here in Barcelona, we are seeing crazy days happening. You know, we come from a nation where church is about 20 or 30 people. And so to see thousands of people, just hundreds of young people getting saved, transforming their lives, it's been, it's been an incredible journey. But we know it's just the beginning. So we are getting ready in all areas, you know, it's with venues, with finance, with spirit, with teams, with leadership, because we actually want to take over this nation. You know, we want to see in every single city of Spain a church that is relevant, a place where people have the opportunity to hear the gospel in a, in a relevant way. I mean, church has a great tradition and maybe you think of Spain, oh, it's a Christian nation. Well, we have Christian heritage.
heritage and people love the church but it doesn't necessarily mean that you know people go to church and people know Jesus in a personal way so here we are I will appreciate your prayers for us because the the, the road is long but you know we are expecting for the new new paths or new roads that God is going to open here and so keep us on your prayers if you ever come to paradise which is Barcelona feel free to visit us it'll be an honor to see you here in the same way that in an hour or two when you're in front of your congregation you'll pray for them just pray for the folks that are totally. that are that are there let's pray so father god we thank you for the people who are watching right now i thank you that your spirit and your presence is everywhere we don't need music we don't need a building we don't need anything specific for your presence thank to you, come Lord. so i thank you that your presence brings transformation and restoration so for everybody watching you, i i declare and i speak the name of jesus the only name that can bring healing can bring provision can bring restoration in marriages father god i just pray that by the name of your spirit by the name of your son jesus christ you bring something crazy you, to that person that is looking right now we know your power we have experienced it and we know you are you're, we're just going from glory to glory from victory to victory so heal them father god restore them i pray that your holy spirit will embrace them in such a personal way that there will be no wonder no doubt that you are in that room with them I pray, Father God, for every person that you will help them to find a local church where they can flourish and get connected you, to your people. Thank you for every single testimony that will come out of this prayer. In your mighty name, amen and amen. amen. Wow. And love, come here, babe. We have broadcasting here. We have satellite carriage here. That the, that the Hillsong channel is something that you're a part of the Hillsong. Of course. We're now family members. And uh, I want you to family. feel that, that when totally. you need something, that these partners of Trinity Broadcasting yes. have basically reached out to every part of the Thank world. You. And so we want to know how we can help you. We want to know how to, to, awesome. to interface yes. with what God's put in your heart to Come do. Totally. So just know you've got a, an aunt and an uncle yeah. in Thank America. Thank you. I'm loving it. And you've got uh, family members yeah. called there the Trinity go. Broadcasting Fantastic. Family of Network. And uh, Jesus is being declared Amen. right here in Come Barcelona. On. Come we on. love you, friend. God Thank bless you. you. God bless you guys. Yeah. Loved it. Thank you. Programming produced in Spain is the best way to reach the people of Spain. Won't you heed the call to help us meet this urgent need? Whether your gift is large or small, please pick up the phone right now and help us throw culturally relevant Spanish language lifelines of hope and grace to this very strategically placed European nation. To show our deep appreciation, we have a very special love gift for you this month. If you share our heart to reach all of Spain with your TBN, please go to the phone right now and give your most generous pledge of support. We can't do it without you. What is uh, in your heart to say to the Christians and the partners of Trinity Broadcasting? Eh, no tenemos palabras aquí en España para agradecer a tanto pueblo de Dios eh, que son eh, socios de TVN que están sembrando su semilla para que el Evangelio, la palabra de Dios, eh, se extienda en lugares como España, eh, un país eh, que durante 20 siglos. Eh, ha vivido de espaldas a la palabra de Dios, pero gracias al esfuerzo de, de TVN estamos llegando a millones de personas, gracias a un tremendo hombre de Dios, al doctor Krauts, que al, sobre el cual Dios ha puesto la visión de llevar su palabra a todo el mundo. Eh, TVN está al aire en España, llevando la palabra de Dios, llevando la bendición del cielo a millones de vidas, gracias sin duda a tu ofrenda. Queridos socios de, de TVN, gracias desde Madrid, gracias desde España, gracias, muchísimas gracias por la bendición, santo Dios, que estás dando a este país con tu ofrenda. Ok, more satellites, more towers. TVN is on the air in Madrid. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands, for I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love. I could sing of your love.
Over the 